Hi, this is Shannon. This is Cycle One Week 12 Tin Whistle. So our last week of Tin Whistle, I've made videos for each week of Tin Whistle starting at week seven. So if you missed them, you can go back and watch those if you want. This is our last week, so review and celebration. We study the Tin Whistle in all three cycles. So Cycle One, Cycle Two, and Cycle Three, and do the same thing. So you can definitely apply any of the things I talk about in this video to cycle two and cycle three as well. If you are new to my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of three little ones, five, three, and one, and we do classical homeschooling, and I get to tutor the obesitarians, which I love. So they're the little ones, the four through six-year-olds. So these ideas will be for them, but you can definitely customize things for older kids. So for this last day for Tin Whistle, what I'm going to do is put painter's tape on the floor to make a really big staff. And then I'm going to have this foam die. And I will also have these notes written on the board. So I have this printout you can download for free. I'll link below in the description how to get it with the notes, but I also am gonna write this out on the board pretty big so the kids can see. And what I'm gonna do is have them switch off, rolling the die into my big staff that I've made with painter's tape on the floor. And then if the die lands on a line, we'll all look and figure out which line it is of the staff and what note that would be. And if it lands on a space, same thing. So that will help us review what the notes are. So we'll do that for a little bit. We'll also review you know what a staff is, and we're also gonna review the parts of the tin whistle and sing our little song that we've been singing to the tune of the Muffin Man. So it goes like this. Do you know the tin whistle, the tin whistle, the tin whistle? Do you know the tin whistle? These are its parts. Barrel, fiddle, mouthpiece, finger holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left hand on top. So we'll review that and then I'm gonna let them switch off being the conductor. So what I'm gonna do is, since I have really young kids, they're just gonna blow into their tin whistle for this, but the conductor is gonna come up and I'm gonna remind them, okay, so if you're the conductor, you say, one, two, ready, play. And everybody else, when the conductor is holding up their hands, you're gonna get your tin whistle and you're just gonna blow. But then when the conductor holds their hand up to stop, everybody has to stop. So I'll have you know different people who wanna come up and be the conductor, come up and do that, and we'll practice blowing in the tin whistle. I'll remind them we wanna blow it like we're blowing out candles on a birthday cake, so not like spitting into it, but blowing like that. And we'll do that a few times. Each cycle has its own song. So cycle one has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as the song. Cycle two, the song is Mary Had a Little Lamb, and you can find that song on page 181 in the Foundations Guide. And then the song for cycle three is Yankee Doodle, and you can find that on page 253 in the Foundations Guide. So if you're watching this video and you're not in cycle one, just anytime I mention Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, substitute that with whatever song matches with the cycle that you are in. Then, if you want, so with little kids, I may or may not do this just depending, but you can go to the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song, which is on page 89 in your foundations guide. So this is our song this cycle. And you can have the kids try to play the first couple notes. So the first note is D, where we cover all the holes. Now, little kids will have a hard time covering the entire hole, so you have to help them with this. But D, and then, so you can try to have them play. I'll see if I can do it. It's hard for me to cover the holes too, but. So that's twinkle. And then you can have them try to let go of every hole except the top two. So it's like, so not easy, but you can try to have them play like the first note or the first measure of twinkle, twinkle, little star. So that would be a fun thing to try to do at the end with them. Or they can just keep playing conductor. You can play your die game for a while and review the parts of the tin whistle. 
So that is Tin Whistle, week seven through week 12. Again, watch my previous videos if you missed them, if you're not at week 12 yet. Again, I showed this last week, but I made this packet of just different worksheets and activities you can do related to the Tin Whistle, either you know while tutoring or at home. And I wrote out my lesson plans for each week that I'm sharing. This is free. I'll link below in the description how you can download it. This definitely doesn't replace the foundations guide. So I would highly recommend going first to this. There's a section with the tin whistle and you can read about each week. So this should be the first thing you do. And then if having some additional resources would be helpful, you can use this. See my description below for how to download it. And if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'm posting two videos per week relating to tutor ideas and just homeschooling things in general, healthy living. So please subscribe and thank you for watching. Have a great day.